All right, guys, so I figured I would make a quick video just introing this. This is a English longbow fiberglass, and it is a takedown bow. And my favorite thing about it is it only cost $50. So as you can see, these are the two pieces here, less than three feet each. This comes in just under, actually this might, this piece might be three feet. This is a little bit less, but it's got this nice uh, brass wrap around maybe a, a steel centerpiece. And then this obviously is brass right here, just like so. And, um, go something like this. And I set it at 40 pounds at a 28 inch draw. And it's uh, heavy enough, but not too heavy. And I wanted to go five pounds above the requirement for hunting, which is 35 pounds. Um, I didn't want it to be close, so I figured I'd go 40. And uh, if it was too heavy for me, then I guess I would just have to get stronger. So um, this, is, this is it. I love it already. Um, I've only shot it once in the dark last night because the sun had already gone down and I really want to shoot it. So now I'm going to do it during the day. Hopefully I don't um, make a fool of myself, but we're going to put some rounds on the target. Um, I'm only 10 yards, 10 yards away right here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and I got some extra camera setup so you can see the target where it impacts as well as a slow motion camera over here. So hopefully we can get some cool slow motion shots. I might move this around a little bit so you can see what's happening as the arrow passes um, off the bow. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. All right, so that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Over the top. So I went up and I missed. That's all right. So full transparency, I've not shot at this distance yet. I think I did eight yards last night in the dark. I don't want to go too far, so I couldn't see. There's no light out here. There we go. So this is my first time shooting at 10. There we go. And overall, I'm okay. This kind of being my first time shooting this bow, a bow, long bow, and years. It's been years since I shot a bow, and it's my first time ever shooting a long bow. So I'm just a little bit high. All right, let's get these guys out first. I have to make them new doors, new windows. Yeah. 
All right, so let's try and hit here now. All right, here we go, round two. There we go. I'm okay with that. Now let's just see if I can do that consistently. Not bad. Okay. Now I'm not getting fancy with uh, different types of arrow pinches or um, I'm actually only resting on the inside. Uh, I haven't tried shooting it on the outside yet. This is what kind of comes naturally and feels comfortable and this is kind of what I'm starting with. So it's what I want to try and consistently do to see how I like it. And then obviously I'm going to keep trying more new different things, see what I like, see what I kind of get good at. Ooh, I was feeling the fatigue, but I kept adjusting until I got it right and I liked how that turned out. I think that was my first one right in the bullseye there. And now my view is blocked, but we'll see how this goes. I will admit, my fingers are getting a little bit, um, just a little bit sore. Not bad, but I can almost, it's like, a, almost like a little bit of bruising. Uh, but not bad. Uh, I am getting whipped a little bit on the hand here. And I almost wonder if it's the tail of the arrow or if it's just the fletchings flying past. We'll see here. All right, so that went a lot better. Let's go check it out and see what it looks like. So this one right here, not bad. I would say, to be honest, any that are kind of on this white or inside the white are okay. So we'll call this one a flyer, but uh, five out of six. Is not bad for 10 yards and second round of six arrows. So I've only fired uh, 12 arrows. This is the second set of six. Got this one here. I got this one here. So to be honest, I would want to kind of get more consistently in here before I move out farther. Because if I'm getting this spread at 10, then if I go to 20, could easily start missing again and uh, I just want to show you guys real quick here this is pretty insane this is um I think it's only like quarter inch plywood but it went clean through no problem clean through and just busted up that plywood on the other side had to rip it off here, I'll go inside. So this is the what it looks like on the inside when the arrows went through. It uh, stripped off the inside layer of plywood and uh, went clean through. Clean through. So now you know that uh, a $50 longbow will go through this uh, quarter inch plywood like nothing. So be careful. All right guys, so that's all I have time for today, but guys, $50, $50 takedown longbow. This is huge. Uh, if you're 
need to throw it in a backpack or just for whatever purpose. Um, got these arrows. Um, I can't remember exactly the price, but I think I made out at 150 bucks maybe with the arrows and shipping. Um, these are from Alibo. Uh, they're a company in China and I actually found out about this bow from a guy named something like Armin Himmer or something like that. He does great videos on bows. Um, just does great videos on bows. I found him online and as soon as I watched that video of him reviewing this bow right here, I uh, pretty much went out and got this a couple weeks later. So guys, I highly recommend if you're looking to get started and just practice. Um, you can see obviously what we got at 10 yards with no practice with no experience. I shot bows maybe three times in my life total. Um, this was my first time shooting it during the day, um, right out of the box. And I like traditional bows. Uh, I, don't to, I don't like having to worry about sights or pins or all the fancy stuff, cams breaking. I mean, it's a piece of fiberglass and uh, a string. And that's it. Boom, just like that. Throw it in a backpack. You, you know, if you were to take this and just to uh, a compound bow, uh, you probably uh, either get slapped by the owner or uh, have to take it into the repair shop. So it's just kind of nice being able to have something that's nice and durable that, you know, can take a little bit of a beating. And uh, it is what it is. I, I know a lot of people like to choose one or the other. I'm partial to long bows. Uh, or just traditional bows in general, but uh, it is what it is. As far as the arrows went, I actually got uh, these guys, and they have, these are kind of a more traditional fletching. Um, you can get the ones that are more aerodynamic where they actually curve and they're rounded on the back. But I went, I think these are called like shield, shield tips or something. And I went with this just because they, they are the traditional, the old school shape, what they used to look like. And so I kind of like the look. And I figured with my experience, getting more aerodynamic arrows is not going to help improve my shot that much. But with that, obviously I'm just shooting practice tips. Um, and these ones I believe are 30, 32 or 34 inches. I can't remember the length, but I want it to be just slightly longer than the 28 inch draw. I think it's either 30 or 32 inches. Um, and I'm okay with that. I wanted to make sure that max draw length at 28 inches, that it wasn't, uh, kind of like resting on my on my hand right here. I think, uh, no, let me check real quick. Let me check. Let's go ahead and turn this guy up. I think this is the bottom one. See, I even got uh, got mud on it here. Let me go ahead and wipe that off. Boom, like so. You know, it kind of makes me sad because it is new, but it kind of makes me happy because I preach all the time that you can kind of abuse these a little bit, and I did just that. So there's like literally mud on the end here. And now I'm going to uh, string it up and uh, shoot one more arrow here. So let's see what the what it looks like. So when I draw, there's maybe, let's see here, four inches. So there's about four inches on the end, so I must have done like a 32, 32 to 34 inches. Um, I'll see if I can look that up, throw that up on the screen here, because I know it's in my order. Um, I actually asked the guys from Alibo, which was awesome. Was like, hey, for this bow and this draw weight, what would you recommend for length and weight? And they're like, hey, go with this. I was like, okay. I told them basically I didn't want it to be so light that it wobbles and not so heavy that it uh, doesn't reach the target basically. Um, so they gave me kind of like midline and that's what I was looking for. And I'm super, super happy. It's pretty consistent uh, for, for my uh, experience level. So again, it's uh, Ali Bow and I'll put that link um, up on the screen as well as down below. And um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend asking me just yet as I'm getting started in this, but I do want to show you kind of what I'm experiencing with these so that it can better help you make uh, an informed decision. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.